Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all having a fantastic evening. Um, if it's not evening yet in your part of the world, hopefully by the time it becomes evening where you are, you are staying well and watching plenty of films. So I'm going to be doing a review tonight. Now this is of an American horror film, so no subtitles. I was a little bit sceptical coming into it because I have been burnt by a lot of um, Hollywood horror films, as you all know. But this one, I don't know if it's independent, but it hasn't got the spotlight attention of the big sort of mainstream Hollywood horror films. So that, you know, I had a high expectation through that, but I wasn't going to get my hopes up too much. It only cost $7, so it really wasn't uh, that much of a risk. So this was released in 2007, directed by Mitchell Lichtenstein, and this movie is called Teeth. And the story to Teeth is as follows. Dawn is a pretty high school virgin who, un who unknowingly has a set of mutant teeth between her legs. When a supposedly like-minded boyfriend forces himself upon her, Dawn's vagina dentata start chomping, which is just the beginning of the most twisted story of female empowerment ever told. Caught between her emerging sexuality and a host of oversexed young men, including her twisted half-brother, Dawn eventually gives in to her freakish powers in this morbidly funny, totally out there and courageous piece of horror cinema. So we've got the main character of Dawn, she's a virgin and she is saving herself from marriage. And she is very proud of her decision and she's got kind of a following at her school. So she is, um, she is uh, has made an oath that she is not going to have sex until after marriage. So she has a boyfriend, not, well, not so much a, a, an official boyfriend, but just someone she hangs around with a lot. And she believes that he is like-minded because he's part of this group. But it turns out that he was just using her to get close. Um, he joined the club just to get close to her. And when he forces himself upon her, this is where he realises uh, Dawn's terrible secret. She actually has a set of teeth located in her private region. And when he forces himself upon her, it basically chomps down on his part and castrates him. So this is where Dawn is freaked out because this is the first incident surrounding this area. So she needs to get checked out by a doctor. There is an incident which involves the teeth in the doctor's fingers. And this is the start of Dawn's nightmare. But she pretty much, uh, very soon she turns this nightmare into her advantage as she starts targeting men who are using women in the uh, violent kind of sense. So how it unfolds, that's something I'm going to leave you guys to um, find out for yourselves. Hopefully that very interesting storyline has uh, left enough curiosity for you to go out there and see the film for yourself. Now my thoughts on this movie. After reading the synopsis on the back of the cover, it's, I, it had me sold. I had to get it because, you know, I've never seen a film like this before. So, you know, I was really excited to see it. Not because I'm some kind of sicko, but just because it was something unique and creative. And that's something that uh, American horror is really lacking lately. So after watching this film, I can safely say that not many males are going to enjoy this at all. It's cringeworthy. There are quite a few castration scenes. It's not graphic in the detail of the actual biting but it's graphic in the aftermath. So, you know, it had me cringing a lot. But having said that, this is one of the most enjoyable American horror films I've seen in quite a long time. Now, yes, it is a very disturbing sort of subject matter, but it is a light-hearted sort of dark humour horror comedy. Having said that, it does touch on very serious subjects, and that is men who force themselves and, uh, you know, uh, manipulate these women in going for only one thing and that's for sex. So this film is really is a, a female empowerment film that these men think they're in control but in reality they're not. Uh, this woman is in control and she can fight back in the worst, uh, most horrific way possible for any male. So it is a very serious, uh, serious sort of subject matter and a very serious problem especially you know amongst that age. And I, th I thought that it blended the dark humour with the horror element very very well. Now, it's a very well-made film. Cinematography was great. Uh, the director had a lot of bright colours, so it really does create a sort of a bright atmosphere, uh, which also, uh, once again, it really does blend well with the horror element because he was going for a dark humour element, and that's exactly what he got. Now, the acting was a little bit overdone in places, but I thought that added to the atmosphere. Uh, the... The main character, I didn't really feel too much sympathy towards because there's not a hell of a lot of character development, but it doesn't rely on character development. Uh, a lot of it is very funny. 
Now that kind of sounds sick, but just the way these people react to some certain situations, it really is lighthearted and it'll have you shocked and grossed out, but at the same time, it'll get a few chuckles. So uh, yeah, a very, very unique story and I actually found myself really enjoying this one. The ending was really good. I really liked it. I'm not going to give that away. But yeah, not a lot to dislike about the film at all. I thought the pacing was very, very good. And, you know, all in all, this is a very, very memorable uh, American horror film. The soundtrack was good, and the characters, as I said, not a lot of depth, but they were very interesting. So, all in all, I would highly recommend this film if you can stomach the violence. I mean, you know, castration freaks a lot of males out. It freaks me out, but uh, don't let that put you off because, in the end, it is an experience worth going through if you're a horror fan because it's one of the rare uh, rare occasions where an American horror film does have creativity. So I would highly recommend you check out Teeth, uh, a very hard film to watch, but definitely a film worth the effort. All right, guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.